I'm going to give you the ultimate pancake recipe that you're going to love. You're probably going to use it for the rest of your life. And I'm going to show you four variations on the theme that you're going to love. It's so simple. You don't need scales. You don't have to weigh nothing. It's the easiest thing ever. So let's do this. It starts here and your kind of weighing apparatus is a regular tea coffee mug, right? If yours is a bit different, it doesn't matter. As long as you use the same mug for the flour and the milk, the equation works perfectly. So to make it, it's super simple. Go in with one heaped mug of self-raising flour. Then we go in with one mug of whole milk. And then we go in with one beautiful free-range egg. And then a little pinch of salt. So we'll whisk that up until it's nice and smooth. It's super easy and quick, and you can see the texture. It's thick, it's smooth, so batter is done. Now, the first one involves a little bit of kit, a waffle maker. So from this batter, before it becomes a pancake batter, you can absolutely use it for waffles. It couldn't be simpler. Just put a little bit in a preheated waffle iron, about that much, and down it goes, right? You're gonna get amazing waffles out of that, right? So secondly, we're gonna go over to a pan. Medium, medium high heat, and we're gonna do some beautiful fluffy pancakes. So just take a little dessert spoon, just let that fall on there like that. What's brilliant about this batter is as soon as the self-raising flour hits the heat of the pan, it activates the raising agent and it will literally double in size. Let's go to a sandwich maker. So look, let's just take some everyday thing. We go in with some mushrooms. Uh, you can go in with some ham. Um, we go in with a little bit of cheese. Then we go in with our batter, just like the waffle, right? Fill it up. It will kind of cook into all the little cracks and crannies and make you the most beautiful kind of fritter, cum sandwich, savory. It is gonna be so good. As those cook, this has had about a minute, minute and a half. You can see the little bubbles have started popping at the top here, right? It's had a little minute, so I'll just pick it up, flip it over. With the little pancakes, I quite like just taking a few soft fruit, cutting the fruit in half. If you want to make the kids love fruit even more, um, a little squeeze of lemon or orange juice just kind of brings it together. And then back in the pan here, these are cooked. They only take like two, three minutes, right? The nice bit of color there. Now what you can do is add a little bit of maple syrup. And what you'll do is kind of just glaze it. It means you don't have to add the sugar later and you can toss it around. So look, what I tend to do with this one is just add a little bit of yogurt to the plate and then a few little bits of fruit. Now don't use your hands because that caramel is golden and hot. So look, there is the first one, right? Very simple. If you want to, you can take a little pinch of cinnamon and just give a little sprinkling over the top. If I have a look at the waffle, I might put butter over this little mixture just to kind of get it nice and shiny, and then just give it 20 seconds. So just 20, 30 seconds, and that simple pancake recipe has given us a lovely, beautiful, and simple waffle recipe. Some yogurt, just a little bit of maple syrup, and you know, some fruit again. Look, there's the second one. And then this one, in there. Let's get those sorted. The thing to have with that is a nice bit of ketchup. So we'll stack that up beautifully. You can knock this recipe back down. Just make it into a thin batter. So just stir that in and let down the consistency so it really easily runs off the back of a spoon, right? Like double cream. Then we take a little bit of butter and then just put a thin layer of pancake butter in there. Move it around like that. And as it cooks, it kind of peels back and it gets crispy. And then once it's golden, Come on, do your little toss. Let's put that thin pancake straight onto there like that. Chunk of lemon, maybe mix it up with some oranges. I'll take some golden caster sugar, squeeze over the top. So there you go. That is my one cup pancake recipe. Four different ways, loads of ideas, loads of options. I hope it's inspired you. We've got pancakes, waffles, we've even got a toasty. Oh, really good. Thank you.